Hey everybody, welcome to Holy Potatoes, a weapon chop. You gotta always get that exclamation question in there for sure. Anyway, um, we did a one shot on Holy Potatoes. You guys wanted to see more beyond what I actually covered in the Falcon one shot. So we will do a little bit of a mini series on Holy Potatoes. I'm not sure how often it's gonna be released. Maybe a daily, maybe not. I can't really tell for sure right now because my schedule's a bit backed up. But if there is a positive enough response for the series, I will try to release them a bit more frequent. Otherwise, we'll do a mini series kind of like what we do with Rebuild 3 and um, Safe House Diaries, the Walking Dead mod, where we kind of release it on occasion. But, you know, I'll wait depending on your response to this episode and we'll see from there. I'm going to assume you guys watch the Falcon one shot. If not, there should be an annotation or a card that should be popping up somewhere right now. All that's said and done, let's get in here really quickly. Falcon, stop jip a we want some gameplay, and you're right. We're gonna do some gameplay over here. So this will actually teach us about the boosting, which we actually haven't talked about. But since we are doing a little bit of a dagger, we should probably be fo focusing on speed. So how about we go ahead and uh, select speed over here to boost. Now this is actually interesting because you could actually either have your own people work on boosting that stat, or you could actually pay somebody else, like an outside freelance contractor, to actually boost that um, attack for you. So right now we have Matthew Matic, we have Master Wong, and we have Steve Mobs. Obviously the references are always going to be strong in this game. We, have, we also have Stevie Flounder! Not Stevie Wonder, but Stevie Flounder, get it right. Um, he costs a little bit too much right now. We have $1,300 saved up. So how about we use... I think Steve Mobs is a little bit too expensive right now. Let's just try out with... You know what, let's actually give Bulk Bogan a chance here. It's obviously not going to be so great because he's only at 38 speed rank. But sure, you know what? Bulk Bogan will start boosting you, my friend. And this will be randomized. This will either be a really good boost or not, but it depends on their skill. But the more we level up Bog Bogan, the better job he could do for us. So right now he went ahead and um, got five strikes in there. He boosted us up a little bit. So at this point we could actually just go and speed this up a little bit here. 57, our weapon should be done relatively soon. And then we could kind of go and sell it off over here. Again, we're not focusing on attack for this weapon because it's a dirk, uh, it's a dagger. So thieves are mostly primarily focused on speed. So attack, not really that great. Accuracy, yeah, but speed is the really ideal one. Now, what are we gonna name our weapon here? Since we already made a dirk, this time around we can start being a little bit funnier with these names over here. This will be, um, well, not really funny, but this will be, this will be too fast to dirk. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I have a lot of references myself. Too fast to Dirk. Named after the sound people make after getting stabbed with it. Dirk? Ugh. Anyway, we got 48 speed and 20 accuracy, so let's hit OK over here. Now, that's our objective right there. I guess we're still in tutorialized phase, I, I suppose, which is unfortunate, but so be it. Sell our weapon. Obviously, we will. So we'll come over here and sell some weapons. Now, the first time around in the Falcon one-shot, I think we had Bulk Bogan sell this weapon off. And we've been uh, slowly increasing Bulk Bogan's merchant skills over here. So we're going to choose this over here to sell. Select the Smid. As you can see over here, we leveled Bulk Bogan up a little bit last time. He's not level 2 just yet, but he's getting there. So we'll use Bulk Bogan for this one. Start selling. Alrighty, Bulk. Good, good luck, brother. Anyway, he's gonna go off over there. We could milk another weapon meanwhile, but since we're in objective, uh, in a tutorial phase still in a sense, I guess we'll probably just wait up till Bulk Bogan is back here. But he has, this, he has a buyer. He has a few buyers, as a matter of fact. So 48 speed, 20 accuracy. Right now, we have a few buyers. We have... Who is this individual? We have Terry Treehugger who is looking for speed for sure. He likes bows, but he just likes axes. So he's more of a archer, ranger, etc. He's gonna only level up once. So obviously one of the things we wanna focus on is not only the money, but how much you're gonna level up because the more they level up, the more fame we actually acquire for our store, our weapons, etc, etc. So for now, I'm thinking, you're only gonna get two levels off of this, so your money isn't too bad. Eh, you know, we're gonna have to max him out at some point. He maxes at a level 10, because the next objective, I think, is to max out two individuals. So we might as well just give this to you over here this time around. We'll take the 1080 for that one. So we will sell this off to this individual here, Klepto Kid. So this is the second weapon Klepto Kid has bought from us, so apparently he really likes our dagger so far. So, right now, Bulk Bogan should be done. Excellent. Weapon sold. We got 1,080 for this, um, transaction over here. And this bad boy over here leveled up twice, so he's up to 8.5. He gave us an A rating as well. Klepto Kid just loves our weapons. All right, we'll continue going forward here. And now we're going to send Bulk Bogan back over here to his speed station. Excellent. So feature unlock. You can now buy items. Perfect. Now we can go ahead and make our own weapons that we want here. Choice of Fate. These are going to be like random RNG events as well that will give you boosts and other type of um, events here. So Choice of Fate. A plumber with a red cap is looking at some wild mushrooms in your backyard. Hmm. Plumber red cap mushrooms. I... Could really not be sure who that could be a reference to. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and do the. I think you should eat the red one, my man. Oh, come on! That's what that's what Mario does. He eats red mushrooms to grow. 
He eats it and gets a tummy ache. He later clogs your toilet. Oh, good god. Mario, so we are going to be losing some attack stats with um, Bulk Bogan. That's okay, we barely don't even focus on attack with Bulk Bogan there. So that was a negative effect. So be it. We have another objective by five ropes. And this will probably be to actually forge our first bow, which is actually pretty good. So let's go in here and shop for items. We'll go over to New Village. And we want to buy ourselves five ropes, apparently, right? So boom, boom, boom. Five is good to go. And we're going to be using Bulk Bogan because maybe with this next uh, transaction, he'll level up to level two. So Bulk, good luck to you, my man. We will hold off over here. Oh, we got another RNG event. While out in a stroll, you come across a pond in the middle of a field. We are going to go paddle my feet here a little bit, and we got a positive event this time around. Rusted Peter's going to get an attack boost, so basically what Hulk Hogan is losing an attack, we're going to be getting uh, getting it back with Rusted Peter's. Not that it really matters, because bows, I guess bows could be a little bit more um, attack base, but they're mostly accurate, right? So here we go. Shopping complete, excellently. He brought back five ropes for us. Alrighty. Boak, you come back to your weapon speed station over here. Now we need to force, forge ourselves a bow, right? Perfect. So come over here to bow. We will go with the short bow. And we have... We need two wood, in which we have ten of. <laughs> yeah, I got a ten wood. Anyway, let's be mature here for a second. Rope, two, and two. Excellent. So you guys get to work on that. Let's go ahead momentarily and pause this. Now for bows, I'm thinking accuracy for sure. Meaning, hey... Bulk, can you come over here? And, um, Laura Craft. Well, we do know that one of the rangers that was actually a new village was actually looking for speed. So you know what? Instead of attack, we will focus on accuracy and speed only. I think that's actually pretty good. So you know what? Stay right there. But Bulk, you give this man a hand over here. I don't think you could put all three of them in the, in the accuracy station just yet. Maybe that's something you unlock down the line. I can't really tell for sure. But more than likely, you would be able to since there's three spots over here available. Or maybe you need, like, an extra person, so we can have, like, two different stats being grown. That could be it. So what what should we name our bow here? Uh, let's see, this is a short bow, right? I guess we're gonna call this the, um... This will be the Biggie Smalls Bow. <laughs> I like it. Alrighty, the Biggie Smalls Bow. Fashioned from a short wooden branch and a stretchy rope. So accuracy 30, speed 28. Wow, that's actually pretty surprising. Apparently, um, what's her face did a pretty good job. Oh, he didn't boost it, though. He should have boosted that weapon. That's fine. We'll boost the next one over. So, get an archer to level 6. Excellent. We'll go to the world map, then. Let's go ahead and sell our weapons here. Boom, boom, boom. We will sell the Biggie Smalls bow. And we will select... Ah, oh, Bulk, you need like, probably one more transaction to level up, huh? All right, we'll use Bulk one more time again. So, we'll start selling right now. All righty, Bulk. What you gonna do, brother, when Bo Bogan offers you a bow? We have a few buyers already, though, so I'm sorry. Hulk Hogan impression, let's actually take a little bit of a break here. So, unfortunately, as you can see, not really too many people interested in it. Well, actually, there are, but why would you want to buy a bow, Fist of Fury Man? You're only offering me $15 and you're angry about it? Why even be here? Why are you even here is my question. Anyway, we're going to be going with either this guy or this guy, obviously. You, my friend, are a dagger guy. Get out of here. Don't be tricking me right now. I guess we're going to go with this guy because he'll actually... He's going to offer us the most money of everybody, and he'll also level up five times, which is actually pretty ideal. So you, my friend, are going to be the victim of this transaction over here. Alrighty, Boke is done. Excellent. So we have 559 to our name here. Merchant leveled up. And what kind of upgrade are you going to give me here? You're going to give me an... And hey, good! Even without the boost, we got an A. Perfect. Alright, you both, you can come back over here, my friend. So, now our next objective is get two heroes to max level, which is what I talked about beforehand. So, for that, let's actually come in here really quickly. And I'm gonna think we focus on probably one more dagger and then one more bow. We could do an axe as well. I guess we could probably build an axe for the fighters. But since he's level 1, it's going to take him a while to get to level 10. We're actually looking to get two heroes maxed out already. So we will do a dagger and another bow. Now the unfortunate thing is we can't actually go to the next dagger over. We need to actually research it. So unfortunately, we're going to be going with another Dirk here again. But we need some materials. So we need 5 iron. And in terms of the bow, we're actually ready to go now. So let's go ahead and do the bow first, and then we'll do the dagger. So let's go ahead and start this one right here. This pauses momentarily. Obviously, we want to boost accuracy for this one. So accuracy is going to be boosted. Now, who do we want to use? Remember, we have 2,654 stored up now. Starch, by the way. It's not actual money. It's starch in the Potato Land world. Um, Stevie Flounder is actually 300. Costs a bit too much, though. So how about we just do Spudluck Holmes? Yeah, yeah, we will do Spudluck Holmes. We have Trevor or Prever Tillips here. Hmm. Sounds real ugly familiar to that guy from uh, Grand Theft Auto V, doesn't it? Anyway, we will go with... Yeah, let's go with Spudlug Holmes. You will boost it for us. How well is it going to work? 9? 10? 12? 11? 
Oh, uh, he only got four boosts, but hey, they were actually relatively good. We got 42, excellent. All right, so let's pause this here for a second. Oh, we have another choice of fate, though. A gooman wanders into your shop. It hands you a small digital device. Uh, a gooman? Hmm. Oh, I get it. Agumon. I get ya, I get ya. Digimon, digital monsters. Yeah, yeah, I, I grew up with Digimon, dog. What are you talking about? Digital monsters. Digital are the champions. Is that how it goes? Digimon are the champions. There you go. Change into digital monsters. There we go. Okay, never mind. I obviously don't remember it too well. Uh, Agumon, Agumon, Bitvolve, yeah, definitely that one. Oh, we failed! The screen darkens and your Agumon fades into a squishy pink plush toy. Oh, we lost some speed with Russ said Peters. Uh, it's not the end of the world, but you know, could have been better. All right, so we're gonna be focusing on a bow, right? So accuracy and speed again. All right, so you guys go forward here. We'll wait till this actually finishes up, which is gonna be finishing pretty soon, I would imagine. There you go. So the first one was Biggie Smalls. This is gonna be more, more faster, right? This will be, um... This will be... Speed? Daddy, I'm not even sure what's going on with the rapper references here today, but uh, I got him going on, apparently. So instead of Puff Daddy, we'll have Speed Daddy. Alrighty, so a lot of accuracy, which is actually pretty good. Pretty decent speed as well. Alrighty, let's go ahead here and actually sell this off. Now, Bulk Bogan should be level 2 now. We're gonna sell the Speed Daddy, we'll pick a person here. Bulk Bogan is indeed level 2. Um, we don't want to only focus on one person, we actually want to probably spread it around here a little bit. So let's go ahead and send Russ said Peters this time around. I I'm pretty sure that the weapon's going to sell relatively ideal because of the boost as well. So meanwhile, you have a few buyers here. Oh, we have an area event. I've never seen this before. Lucky break. After the successful movie, these heroes seem to be getting a lot, a lot of jobs. Effect duration is going to be 3D. Three days. Oh, I got you. 3D. I was, I was like, wait a minute. What do you mean 3D? Um, starch is going to be 0.08. Or point eight, and hero experience uh, is going to be actually going up when selling Fison Fist Fury and when selling to Fison Fist Fury a new village. Oh, so a specific dude. Interesting. Had we made the axe, we probably could have um, taken advantage. It's going to last for three days, so I'm not sure we're going to be able to actually hit this off, but we'll give it a try here. So for now, we have a few buyers here, which is obviously going to be this bad boy and then this guy over here. Now to max this guy out, though, he's at level 25, so obviously it's going to take us a while to level him up. So instead, we're going to be going over here. You're only going to get two levels off of this, huh? We'd actually max out the thief now as well, but we might as well just work on Alwyn Grinwood over here. So you are going to be the recipient of this bow, especially because the money is actually better than the thief. I again, that's not the main premise. The famous, uh, fame is also really important, but. Uh, that's actually a pretty good deal. Remember, we spent um, a bit of extra money too in getting that dude to actually boost that weapon for us. So yeah, we'll go with this guy over here. Now meanwhile, let's see about sending... Since we want to make an axe and take advantage of that boost that's going on, we might as well send Bulk Bogan over here to buy for the axe. What did we need again? Oh, I don't think I remember checking that out. One second here. So for the axe, we need two bronze and three iron. Gotcha. Gotcha. Again, we're trying to spend as little time as possible here so we can take advantage of that boost here. So we'll come over here, and we set two, uh, two bronze and three iron. I mean, we might as well pick up a bit more because we're going to be building these as we go along. So we'll go for ten, and just get ten already going. And let's see, maybe we have six of these. Let's get like, I don't know, four. I guess we'll try to get ten of everything here meanwhile. Rope, we apparently have one left, so we'll do like, oof. We're actually going through our money pretty fast doing this. So you know what? Never mind. <laughs> Never mind my vacacious nature here. Let's just go ahead and do like five for now. Four of that. Give me like five of these here for now. And magic dust, we're not really familiar with that just yet. So we'll do this. It's gonna cost us 560, that's fine. And Bulk Bogan, you're gonna be buying these items here for us. Excellent. So, good luck. We have our transaction over here done. Excellent. Russ said Peters got me 1245, so gonna give us more money for us. This guy will level up twice, and what's... Ooh, almost at level nine. Level A rating, I'm not surprised. You come back over here. Bulk, I need those items. Uh-oh. Shop fame increased. Excellent. Uh, a little potato boy comes up and asks you for love advice. Oh, my lord. I have no idea how to spit game at the potatoes and the taters and all that other stuff. Um, a stallion must run, and it must run free. Love as you would want to be loved. I'm going to go with the stallion one, actually. Like, it sounds like some sort of Native American advice here. But apparently I failed. Alrighty, you know what? How dare you make me fail that amazing chance right there. Alrighty, Bulk Bogan got the items for me. Let's go ahead and try to forge that as soon as possible. Um, for Axe, we're going to be going with power. So Bulk Bogan and Lara Craft. You come over here, let's forge ourselves an axe now. Again, um, accuracy and 
attack power is definitely the way to go here. So let's start this weapon off over here really quickly. I like what's happening. We want to also boost. Oh, I wanted to boost right now, game. A choice of fate. A little potato boy comes up and asks you for love advice. The same guy? Why would he come back to me after the failed advice the first time around? Let's go with the second one this time. Oh, come on. No matter what, I'm going to fail it, apparently. Attack power is what we're going to be boosting here. Let's see. We have 2,600 right now starts saved up. Who do we want to... Oh, my God. Is that Charlie Brown? It's Beagle Brown. I like it. Um, we also have Donald Macarunold. I get you. We have Steve Mobs again and Stevie Flounder. Let's go and... Hmm... Well, since we're going to get a lot of money, assuming we take advantage of that boost, let's go ahead and throw some money at... You know what? Let's go with Steve Mobs. It costs a lot, but again, because of the boost, it might actually be beneficial for us. So let's go here. Steve Mobs is over here designing. Yeah. Oh, he's actually increasing our speed. No, Steve Mobs, not the speed. Uh, attack power. Attack power, Steve Mobs. God damn it. I would have preferred speed. Or accuracy. Oh, well. All right, so are we almost done here, guys? Come on. Come on. We need to take... Oh, we're not going to hit the... Oh, we're not going to hit the um, limit. We wasted money then. Ah. Bah, humbug. I'm not happy about it. Alrighty. Uh, what would you like to name the weapon? This will be an axe, right? This is going to be the, 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 the fucking Gimli axe, dog. And you have my axe. Alrighty, so Gimli axe is going to be going off over here. We're not going to hit the uh, boost, by the way. We totally botched that one. The time just didn't really match up for us. Unless I could... Go to the map really quickly. Is there an hour left still? There better be. <laughs> <laughs> it's still there. It's still there. Come on. Let me get the boost. Let's see here. Time left zero. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't think we're going to do it, guys. Gimli Axe, and we're going to have... Because then I think you have to probably imagine the uh, time that it, it takes to actually get a buyer as well. We're going to send Bulk Bogan for this one. Yeah. Yeah, we'll send Bulk Bogan. Try to get him up to level three at some point. Yeah, the boost is gone. That's unfortunate. I tried. Unfortunately, the time just didn't really match up for us. Now, remember, we spent like $1,000 on getting Steve Mobs to work on that weapon, so that's unfortunate. The only problem is that the Thief is actually offering more money than the Fighter himself. Remember, we want to actually max out two heroes as our next objective, so this would max him out now. This will get this dude to level 8, though, so I'm going to go with this guy over here. It's going to be a little bit less money, but, you know, let's actually start working on other heroes as well. So we should be able to be selling here. There you go. Alrighty. We got a Merchant Bonus as well. Oh, that's because Bulk Bogan is level 2. Right, okay. But we didn't get the boost from the um, temporary three-day thing that we had going on here. So we got an eight rating from this guy, and he went up to level nine. So he got eight levels in one go. That's actually pretty ideal. Alrighty, Bulk, you come back over here. Now we have uh, an objective here. What's the next thing we actually want to make? But we will find out next time around. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up, leave a like to support. It does mean a lot. Again, if you want to see this more frequent, let me know in the comments. And also let me know by leaving me a like. And I will kind of weigh that out and see how often this um, series goes forward with here. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Stick around for the next one. I will catch you next time.